Thanks for joining us. I'm Felicia Sanmez, and here is today's Trail Mix. Why would Mitt Romney embrace Donald Trump? Well, in the 24 hours since Trump yet again made headlines by questioning President Obama's citizenship, the GOP nominee may have been asking himself that very same question. And that brings us to today's number to know. That number is 47. It is the percentage of independents in a Washington Post poll in December who said that they viewed Donald Trump unfavorably. Now that's compared to only 41% of independents who said that they viewed Trump favorably in that same poll. So it would seem that this embrace of Trump by Romney is not exactly a good thing, right? Well, let's look at the other side of the equation. While Trump is not viewed overwhelmingly positively among independents, it's also true that he's not overwhelmingly reviled. And it's also worth keeping in mind that he's viewed as much more of a celebrity than he is viewed as a politician. Now that fact would put Trump in a separate category from someone like Joe Arpaio, the controversial sheriff from Pima County, Arizona, and another prominent member of the birther movement. So in one sense, Romney's embrace of Trump gives him a safe way to reach out to those members of the far right of the Republican Party who may align themselves with the birther movement and may be a little bit skeptical of Romney's views of that movement. Now, of course, there is a downside to this, and that is the fact that the Obama campaign has plenty of opportunity now to draw the conversation away from the economy and towards Donald Trump. And in the views of Democrats, that is a good thing. The more they can talk about things like Trump and less about the economy, the better. So we are keeping an eye on this. As always, stay tuned with us on Election 2012 for the latest from the campaign trail.